topic of discussion today is your MTA. Okay. So what is MTA? MTA is mineral trioxide aggregate. Okay. So this is important both for the second years. Second years, apka dental materials. Many question paper I checked and I found that every every year it is repeating. Every year, every alternate year. It is repeating as far as I saw every alternate year it is repeating and for the final years also it is required in endodontics okay final years you require it in endodontics MTA okay and interns go to Parnai interns have to study everything for NEET uh, MDS so um, everyone uh, please do concentrate while I talk about the MTA okay so let's start so who was the uh, person who introduced uh, MTA? It was Mahmoud Tora Binajed, okay, in 1993. So please remember this name while you write down the short notes for uh, MTA. This, this is the first thing you should write that Mahmoud Tora, Bijan, Tora Binajed introduced MTA. So here's the person and this is the picture of Mahmoud Tora Binajed. It may come, say, come as uh, image based question in your neat mds okay so they often often time they give identification of scientists like louis pester then um, other scientists in microbiology so in orthodontics also they give so we we can expect mehmoud to rabinajad to come in our exam okay so it was F, F, fda approved in 1998 fda means food and drug food and drug anyone food and drug association right if I'm not mistaken, the uh, association, yeah. Federation Dental Internet. Okay, one is Food and Drug, and this is Federation. Then, what you told? Please tell. Repeat. Federation. No, sir. It was... Okay. So Food and Drug FDI. Administration. FDI. That is FDI, right? That is related with dentalist sir. FDI, right? FDA is Food and yes, Drug sir. Association, I think. Okay, administration. Okay. administration administration okay. Okay. okay the fda approval in 1998 okay so um, there were two types of mta one was the gray mta and one was the white mta okay gray mta or white mta so gray mta 1993 and white mta in 2002 so what was the difference initially launch was gray mta and white MT, what was the difference? It was more aesthetic. Obviously, if we have to do something on the teeth, we will uh, we will want it to be aesthetic, right? And aesthetic is white, okay? So what was the difference between the gray MTA and white MTA, okay? So in, in case of white MTA, uh, this FeO iron oxide was 90.8% uh, uh, iron oxide was less okay whereas in case of gray mta the concentration of iron oxide was more okay that's why it has black color okay or gray color okay but in case of white mta the iron oxide was less okay that's why it was white and it also had 50% uh, less mgo and 50% less aluminium oxide okay aluminium trioxide okay 50% uh, less Al2O3, 90.8% less FeO, and that's why it was white in color, okay? So, um, this was it about the introduction. Now, composition. Composition uh, of um, MTA is that uh, it, is an, it is a salt of calcium oxide and silicon dioxide, okay? Calcium, it is also known as calcium silicate cement. Silicate cement, okay? So, what are the calcium silicate uh, cont contained in the MTA? Is dicalcium silicate, okay? Tricalcium silicate, tricalcium aluminate, then tetracalcium aluminophyrate, okay? These are the constituents of the powder of your MTA, okay? And liquid me kya hota hai? Liquid, it is distilled water. We use distilled water as the liquid, okay? So there is something called as biodentin also. Uh, novel endodontic cement also uh, MTA pro root MTA okay these are the defined names of materials okay so what is the advantage of MTA 
MTA has better sealing ability. That's why we prefer MTA. It has better sealing ability. Okay. Reason for good sealing ability. It is hydrophilic material. So dentin is hydrophilic. Okay. And MTA is also hydrophilic. So that's why they bond nicely. Okay. And there is sealing is better. Okay. It also expands while setting whereas other material shrink expands while setting so if there are some gaps also so while they expand these gaps are filled by mta okay but in case of other the materials they shrink that's why there is um, less uh, sealing ability as 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 mta okay so gap will be closed if they are if they are through expanding so mta expands and fills up the gap okay fills up the gap okay next ph of mta initial ph is 10.2 okay early ph okay 12.5 after 3 hours and 9.5 after 168 hours or 7 days so this all the three you need to remember initial ph is 10.2 then after 3 hours it is 12.5 and after seven days it is 9.8 please remember all the three the so ph of initial mix 10.2 that is alkaline ph of set mta it is 12.5 that is highly alkaline and setting time was two hours and 45 minutes so this was a disadvantage but later it was improved and then we have got pro root mta which has 15 minutes of setting uh, uh, that was for pro root mta we had two hours and 45 minutes later we had mta angelus which had 15 minutes of setting time okay then one more thing about uh, uh, mta it needs a wet environment for six hours so that's why we keep damp cotton nearby so that there is a wet environment present always okay what is the compressive strength of mta it is 40 mega pascal okay in 24 hours 62 67 to 70 mega pascal in 21 days so these are numericals to be remembered okay it might come in your exam uh, for those who are appearing for university examination full mark question you definitely need to write this um, numericals okay now average particle size what is the particle size of mta it is one micrometer okay Powder is mixed with sterile water. Powder liquid ratio is 3 is to 1. Please remember this. Please remember this. Hydration mechanism results in formation of two products calcium hydroxide and calcium silicate hydrate gel. So, calcium hydroxide and calcium silicate hydrate gel is formed during hydration. Okay. Sub job water contact me at the okay. So, MTA carrier, what was the what is the MTA carrier? MTA carrier earlier, messing gun was used, okay. Messing gun, okay. And nowadays, we use micro apical placement system that is map system, okay. So, let's see the picture of uh, both the instruments, okay. So, map system we use now, okay. Earlier, we used to use messing gun, so this is messing gun, okay. So this is an MTA, MTA carrier which was used earlier. Okay, nowadays we don't use this messing gun, but instead we use this micro apical placement system or map. Okay, these are the micro apical placement system. This is MTA carrier. Okay, so this is this is all. Okay, and this is the system. Now uh, let's talk about the radio opacity of MTA. So first use of MTA as root and filling material, retrograde filling material, filling, retrograde filling. Okay, so first use of MTA was that of retrograde filling. So what is retrograde filling? We'll study in our upcoming slides. Okay, so first, pehle, sabse pehle, retrograde filling ke liye hum MTA use karte the. What is MTA, um, in, what, what was retrograde filling? Like epistectomy. Epistectomy mein kya hota hai? We cut the apical apical 3 mm root like a root here so there is some infection okay so it is not getting treat, uh, treated even after root canal treatment has root canal treatment um, uh, failure has been there 
तो व्हाट वी डू टू रिमूव द इन्फेक्शन वी ड्रिल ड्रिल द बोन ओके बोन को ड्रिल करते हैं देन वी कट द दिस थिंग रूट टिल थ्री एम एम एंड वी रिमूव द लेटरल एंड एक्सेसरी कैनल ओके तो इट इज सेड दिंगम देर इज एंडोडोटिस who have a book also by the name of uh, by his name okay so what he told that within 1 mm of the root apex 50% of lateral and accessory canals are present okay and within 3 mm 93% of lateral and 97% of accessory canals are there within 3 mm so one of the most uh, important reason why the root canal Uh, fail, failure happens is due to the presence of lateral and accessory canal so that's why episectomy was introduced to remove this 3 mm is removed so that 93 to 97% of the accessory canals are removed okay and there is root canal success okay root canal treatment success okay fine so what is episectomy a root and surgery also known as episectomy retrograde root canal treatment or root and filling is an endodontic surgical procedure whereby a tooth's root tip is removed and a and tooth's tooth root tip is removed okay and a root and cavity is prepared we will study more in uh, more uh, detail while we study uh, endodontic surgery what is the angle we use how much percentage of this thing i have already told here that 93 to 97% is removed if we cut 3 3 mm so root and cavity is prepared so we prepare a cavity and filled with some biocompatible material it is an example of periradicular surgery okay so this is uh, this this is how we cut uh, we can say 3 mm is cut okay root and uh, this is episectomy okay so mta for episectomy the first uh, material of choice is mta or biodentin but we also use retroplast or super eba irm okay so what is retroplast dual cure composite resin specifically meant for retrograde filling so it is retroplast is a composite resin okay composite resin okay used for retrograde filling so how you can remember retro is already there in the name na so we use it for retrograde filling okay then super eba or irm also used as retrograde filling material okay so this is retroplast this might come as image um, i don't expect image because it is already written and by seeing just this uh, syringe you cannot understand it might be calcium hydroxide you don't know so i don't expect any question regarding this but please know retroplast retroplast is used as a uh, root canal uh, root and filling material okay so uh, yeah now about radio opacity little detail so radio opacity ada according to american dental association any material should have minimum amount of radio op opacity like we use gic for uh your filling okay so it has a radio op opacity amalgam has a radio opacity then whatever we use zinc phosphate has some radio opacity so any material should have minimum amount of radio opacity and how do we measure oh, that radio how do we measure this radio opacity we measure it judging uh, please uh, mute, mute, mute yourself anyone uh, who's who's throwing some noises coming yeah please uh, mute yourself okay. so judging radio opacity this uh, mute yourself i think my voice is not reaching or he is not listening anyway so how do we measure radio opacity so uh, judging radio opacity is done according to aluminum okay like hum uh, everything has a specific like ek bar standard hum banate hai na through which we measure like uh, aapka um, uh, ph mein 7 hai 7 is the standard okay no, neutral so usi tarah uh, for measuring radio opacity we use 
the radio opacity of aluminium. Why we use aluminium and not other metal? Because radio opacity of aluminium is equal to radio opacity of dentin. So please remember this. This is an MCQ. Okay, radio opacity of aluminium is equal to radio opacity of dentin. Okay. So according to ADA, minimum radio opacity of 3 mm of aluminium should be there. Okay, so whatever radio opacity we get from 3 mm aluminium that must be there for any material to be used as a retrograde filling material. Okay, so radio, radio opacity of 1 mm of X, any dental material should be greater than or at least equal to radio opacity of if you used to if you want to use any material for retrograde dental uh, retrograde filling material, consider it is 1 mm. Okay. So it must be equal, equal or greater, greater or equal uh, to at least 3 mm of the radio opacity of aluminium. Please note it down. Okay. Now what is radio opacity of MTA? Radio opacity of MTA is 3.04 mm of aluminium. This is also an MCQ. Okay. So now what are the clinical uses of MTA? We use MTA for pulp capping. We will study what is pulp capping. We, uh, we use it for pulpotomy, we use it in internal or external resorption, percal rep uh, perforation repair, we use it in retrograde filling, we use it in epoxification and also we use it in obturation. Okay. So what is pulp capping? Pulp capping is a technique used in dental restoration to prevent the dental pulp from necrosis after being exposed. So if a, uh, if a, if a um, dental pulp is exposed, okay. So what we do, we do pulp capping. Okay. So there are two type of pulp capping, indirect and direct, that we will discuss later in our upcoming classes. Okay. In our pedodontics and endodontics classes. So um, not no, so much of time to discuss it here. Anyway. So um, after being exposed or nearly exposed during a cavity preparation. So you prepare a cavity, and then pulp is almost exposed. Then we do pulp capping. Okay from a traumatic injury or by a deep cavity deep cavity if there is a deep cavity okay that reaches the center up caries is really deep but it is not so severe that you need a root canal treatment then also you can go for pulp capping okay so i think this is indirect pulp capping and that is direct pulp capping okay when it is exposed so pulpotomy what is pulpotomy pulpotomy is done in deciduous dentition dentition what is done in pulpotomy uh, the pulp chamber, the coronal pulp chamber is removed. See, this is the coronal pulp. Okay, so we remove this and replace with a medicated filling. Okay, we use a filling here. Okay, so canal pulp stays alive. Hopefully, we expect that the root canal pulp will stay alive. Okay, so we only um, uh, we only uh, we only remove the coronal pulp. Okay, in pulpotomy. Coronal pulp is removed. Then we have got resorption. Resorption is considered to be internal. Two types of resorption are there. Uh, one is internal resorption and one is external resorption. Okay. So resorption is considered to be internal if the original site of the resorption start in the pulp. So see, this is internal resorption. So resorption has started in the pulp. Okay. This is the pulp. So resorption has started in the pulp. That's why it is known as internal resorption okay and external resorption is when the original site is periodontal ligament so if the resorption starts from periodontal ligament then it is known as external resorption okay okay so we also use MTA for furcal re perforation repair. So what is furcal re perforation repair? That means accidentally while you are doing the excess cavity preparation for root canal. Okay. So accidentally you perforate. So this is the furcation. Or dekho yaha pe perforate ho gaya. Okay. Through and through opening ho gaya. Dekho yaha pe it should not. Uh, there should be. There should be. Should have been tooth material here. But actually kya hua jab yaha pe excess cavity prepare kar raha tha so this is accidentally it was perforated here sometimes difficult canals may ek to ek to hota hai the uh, the anatomy of the tooth is difficult okay generally maxillary molars mein hota hai and sometimes the inexperience okay uh, the inexperience of the operator they don't know where is the 
uh, can also accidentally they they do perforation okay so this is a uh, this is a case study of a furcal perforation repair okay we see periapical image of tooth four six so this is four six in adherent perforation perforation caused by drilling during excess cavity preparation so here there is a furcal involvement okay so what do we do this is tooth four six after shaping and uh, cleaning then post operative here we placed mta and after six months the bone formation has taken place so therefore we use mta in perforation perforation repair one of my friend happened to be happened to have uh, undergone her treatment for one of the renowned dentists okay but he uh, somehow inadvertently did perforation perforation and then later he was not willing to treat okay he was just uh, giving some you know excuses or oh, your teeth has this problem that problem but then later he uh, she went to an endodontist and then uh, he did the perforation repair with an mta and then later her uh, teeth survived okay so what is apexification now we also used uh, uh, mta for apexification so apexification is defined as a method to induce a calcified barrier in a root with an open apex so open apex hai bachcho mein open apex root root completion has not occurred open apex hai root completion has not occurred apical development nahi hua hai often incompletely formed root in a tooth with necrotic pulp so you have a necrotic pulp hai. pulp is necrotic okay so pulp is dead but the apex is open so we use apexification but where do we is when do we say apexogenesis apexogenesis where the pulp is healthy healthy pulp tissue okay so we generate the apex that is apexogenesis so difference between apexification and apexogenesis is apexogenesis vital pulp is there where vital pulp is there whereas in case of apexo apexification non vital pulp okay retrograde filling we already told 3 mm cut karte hai where 93 to 97% of lateral or accessory canals are removed so that is episectomy retrograde filling so one step apexification so what is one step apexification normally kya hota hai if we do apexification with calcium hydroxide we need multiple appointments okay and it takes 12 to 24 months for calcium barrier to form okay bahut sara time lagta hai calcium barrier form karne ke liye but with mta only one appointment is enough okay one appointment is enough okay so mta is better than con conventional calcium hydroxide apexification so mta has replaced uh, calcium hydroxide um uh, apexification okay so what is the disadvantage with calcium hydroxide apexification patient drop out patient cannot you know every time uh, cannot uh, the patient cannot keep on coming na 12 to 24 months itna lamba treatment hone se and they cannot keep on coming na kitna appointment dete ho gaya you come after one week you come after two months you come after three months so the patient cannot keep on coming uh, every now and then so patient drop out this there barrier also formed is incomplete and chances of cervical root fracture okay so with calcium hydroxide there are chances of cervical root fracture okay then advantages with mta apexification mta apexification se kya hota hai 5 mm plug barrier is formed okay 5 mm barrier is formed so ye root canal hai socho to 5 mm of plug barrier is formed 5 mm tak plug barrier is formed okay so for pro root it takes 6 hours and for mta angelus it takes 15 minutes okay for the barrier to be completed okay and the barrier is completed with mta so pro root ka composition par lena portland cement 75% and calcium sulfate dehydrate 5% this may come in your exam okay so pro root mta composition okay so bismuth oxide 20% this is retro mta okay So manufacture dense ply Tulsa Dental Tulsa okay USA they manufacture this pro root MTA. Now this is about pro root MTA then MTA Angelus MTA Angelus has 80% Portland cement. Pro root MTA me 75% hota hai or calcium sulfate bhi hota hai 5%. But in case of MTA Angelus we have bismuth oxide and Portland cement only. We don't have calcium sulfate and there is different and difference in percentage okay so what are the advantages some of the few more advantages of 
MCA. It has less chances of cervical root fracture. We talked that calcium hydroxide has chances of cervical root fracture, but in case of MTA, it has less chances of cervical root fracture. Okay, it is osteoconductive, osteoinductive, and cementogenic. It helps in the formation of cementum and also in the formation of bone. Expression of pro anti inflammatory cytokines. We know from our pathology knowledge cytokines, importance of cytokines in anti inflammatory effect. Okay, regulation of bone formation, ideal healing occurs, and once obturation is done, MTA plug forms an integral part of root canal filling. So, for obturation, also. It is an ideal filling material. So with this, uh, we come to an end of our session on MTA.